whenever I mention that I'm in the library to my father, he always goes with the candlestick. Hello! And I do realize that it looks like I have no arms with this outfit, to which um, I apologize. I didn't think that through fully. None of this was really thought through. Today's video is something I am very, very excited about because I am doing a room tour. And if you are new here, then I should forewarn you that I love all things home, home renovation, home tours, all that stuff. My dad builds homes for a living. His dad before him did the same thing. And out of all of his kids, They've, they've both said that I have inherited that gene, and I, I have been planning my dream home since I was able to draw my own plans. Like, I, as a kid, my doodles were always home plans, and I don't have my own place yet. This is by no means within the style of which I would decorate my home. Uh... I don't really want to say what my style is because it will grow and evolve, but then part of me is like, no, this would be a good document. I would say my style is like the walls would be very mid uh, medieval French chateau, maybe Renaissance era. And then the furniture would be very eclectic antiques. I need to think of a better name for that. I just really love history. I love history. Um, yeah, this is the library that I do most of my writing in and most of my vlogs are filmed in here and I thought what better time than now to film a tour. It is to get a kind of reference of what sort of room this is. It is the attic. <laughs> of the home. So it's just one little room on a floor of its own. There's no door. It's just a dark staircase leading up. The stairwell lights are out. It's not even like you need to fix the bulb. It's like, it, it's a circuit issue. But that's the kind of room that we're in. It's filled with a bunch of different things, a bunch of things that I love. Uh, it's just filled with things to help one be creative. I don't know how in-depth I should go with these, so please let me know if you want anything more than what I'm saying, but I'm going to try to get into the nitty-gritty of it. Let's first talk about the art. Um, the art is pretty special to me because the two caricature pictures, I think that they're called, I'm not too sure, they were what was in my childhood bedroom <laughs> as a little kid. They are depicting famous nursery rhymes. We also have two paintings, one of which was done by my grandma, who is a, who was, is a, a painter. I don't think she paints anymore. She's like in her 90s, so going strong. And then the other one is done by my granddad, not married. So my grandma's on my mom's side, my granddad's on my dad's side. <laughs> and his painting is, um, he's trying his hand at painting. He is the one who works in, in housing. Um, he's built houses his whole, his whole life. He does a lot of woodworking type of art. So also most of the furniture in this room was built by him. For instance, my writing desk. Not, not the top part, but the white desk was built and whittled by him, the beautiful flower design. I love it so much. I told him about my love for the Regency period, so he tried to copy it as much as possible. <laughs> And then the coffee table was um, made by him, and I believe the rocking chair. He has a great love for rocking chairs. <laughs> As for the rest of the furniture, the desk chair is more for ergonomic purposes. I think it's rather ugly. It doesn't go with my personal aesthetic, but here we are. <laughs> Henry cares more about my back than about my visual desires. Is that, is that what I'm looking for? I come from a family of artists, but they were very much like, your home is your canvas. So I grew up in a very museum-esque type of home where everything was either an antique or handmade by my dad or my granddad. Like my house that I grew up in 
it is was built by my dad. So we're into very like I I I guess I've heard some people be like it's kind of feels like a movie set where everything's too placed and that doesn't feel homey to some people but because I grew up in that to me that is such a homey vibe uh this couch used to be in my dad's office and now it's it's in the library so that's cool above me oh this piece of art is um my tapestry when I was a little kid <laughs> I was reading a little princess I also just loved looking at tapestries at museums that was our family outing. We would always go to old homes or museums. And I was so fascinated by them that I once told my father that you know you've made it when you can afford to have rugs on a wall. And then for Christmas one year, he got me this little mini tapestry. And, and, I, and I love it. As for everything else, <laughs> what else do we have here? So my dad did this thing that I still don't fully understand why he did it. But um, he's not a big reader, so he doesn't understand why people like my mom and my husband and I love books. We're huge bookworms. So when he was designing this room, he, um, he bought a bunch of antique books and filled the shelves with them, which they're beautiful. I have no idea what they are, so don't think like, oh, she read this book, it means this. No. I mean, they're nice, so I've just decorated them around the fireplace since now Henry and I are living here for the time being, and we filled the bookshelves with our own books. If you'd like a bookshelf tour, please let me know in the comments down below. I'm probably going to film one anyways, because I love watching any roomish, bookish, writingish tour stuff. Other than that, the room is pretty much only used for my writing, my reading, just just creative endeavors. Sometimes we do have game nights up here, um, but most of the time it's for a lot of solitude, creative spurts of energy. Uh, you can read a book on the couch. You can read a book on the window seat if the cat hasn't taken it. You can write really anywhere. It is a really great place for writing. The organization is is decent enough, I will say. <laughs> I feel like I'm talking so quickly because I'm so excited right now about filming this video. As for storage, I try to keep it as minimal as possible with just like the bare necessities because despite loving a cozy filled room vibe, Henry and I are also pretty minimalistic. So we just have a little drawer for note cards, a little drawer for like more spiritual stuff. Um, I, I try to keep what I have as a minimum on the desk. Other than that, sometimes there are crystals, sometimes there are plants. Um, there's my diffuser for essential oils, my happy light. I sadly cannot get rid of that. That is for health reasons. I, it's not the best looking, but it's good. Hand sanitizer, screen cleaner, you name it. And then we have this little, um, hutch console, if you will, where my prized possession of my Jane Austen uh, collector's edition books live on top. And then underneath, I just store all the ugly things <laughs> that don't fit the aesthetic that keeps me being creative. And those are things like my camera gear, extra writing gear, Oh, and then also some blankets, or I sometimes push them down the side. <laughs> Other than that, that is my room. Oh, and then I guess I also have a whiteboard and a hula hoop that I still don't know where to place that correctly, but the whiteboard is important for creativity, and the hula hoop is important, so I'm moving somewhat during the year of 2020 while trying to be creative. So yeah, that is my room tour. It's probably a bit rushed. I should mention the fireplace does not work. It's it's all for show. It, it does not work. <laughs> I, I don't really know what else to say. I feel like I rushed through this because I was just far too excited. Uh, 
let me know what you thought of this video. Hopefully I made it look somewhat good through editing and you can get a good, a decent picture of, of this room. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.